Hi, this is Garrett Debsky, and I'm here today to talk about the new theme functionality in FileMaker 12. Within FileMaker 12, we have the new theme functionality as I drop into layout mode here. This is just the invoices starter solution that comes with FileMaker 12. And if I go up under layouts, you'll see the new change theme option. I can click on this and we can see all these pre-baked themes that FileMaker has available for us. So we can just grab one, click OK, and it changes the whole look of the layout. Now this is really nice, but as developers, obviously our first question is how can I create a custom theme? How can I create a custom theme for my customer? How can I create a custom theme to sell online to other FileMaker developers? And as you'll notice, if we go back into layout mode here, there really is not a way within the FileMaker interface to upload my own theme, save this theme as a new theme or anything like that. But there is a way to actually develop your own themes. It's just kind of hidden. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to do that. I'm going to switch over to my Finder window here. And in my Applications folder, I'm going to open up FileMaker Pro 12 Advanced. And if we right click on the FileMaker application, we can say Show Package Contents. Like I said, this is a hidden way to do this. It's, it's not within the product, but you can create your own theme. So if we go Contents, Resources, and then there's a folder called Themes, you'll notice here's all the options that we had within that theme dialog box. So from here, you can input your own themes. So if we were to grab this green theme here, and I can duplicate it, and I can call it the Garrett theme. So if I open this up, you'll see we got all this CSS, XML. Here's some images if we want to be a part of it. So for the sake of this demo, I'm just going to start renaming stuff. And so that way we can see it show up in the theme list. But obviously you can you know, open up these, this CSS and modify it however you want to create your own custom themes. So just for sake of the demo, I've already renamed everything. So I'm just going to drag this folder in here. And we'll see that if we open up this folder, we got everything renamed for us. So now if I'm going to go back over here and I'm just going to quit FileMaker. So as I reopen my file here, we can go back to the same layout that we edited before. If I drop into layout mode, go back to my change theme dialog, you notice that we now have the Garrett theme available. So we can click OK and my very own custom theme is now applied to this layout. So there you go. That's how to create your own custom themes. Thank you.